everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing another makeup tutorial for you guys this one I guess is a very kind of a grungy yet glam and glittery makeup tutorial I really wanted to do something black on the eyes I haven't done something like that in a really long time and then obviously I love the Stila Magnificent Metals so I use one of those and I wanted to use my new Huda Beauty Showgirl Metallic Liquid Lipstick and then I just kind of improvised and came up with this look so is as you can see it's a very much a kind of full-on glam going out in the evening clubbing look if that's what you want to have it as or going out to dinner or just your standard grungy glam so that's it and what else is new that I'm using all the lime crime highlight opals highlighting palette as well love it love it love it, love it. and my t-shirt just says pretty on it because it's the only black and silver t-shirt I could find so here's just a quick close-up So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, like, comment, subscribe so that you can keep up to date with my videos, follow me on various other social media where you can see my face of the days and keep up with me on a day to day basis, other than that I hope you guys are fabulous and that you enjoyed the tutorial. Hello everybody, so first I'm going to be priming my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Enigma I think it is, which is a neutral matte eyeshadow primer which will keep your eyeshadow in place all day followed by the skin based visage prep and prime little sample size again I've got like a hundred of these so I'm steadily going through them this will keep your foundation and the rest of your makeup in place all day now I'm using an oldie but a goodie the pro Longwear foundation by MAC in the shade NC40 I haven't worn this in so long this is a full coverage long wearing foundation and I am blending it all in with a Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. Now I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade of medium brown for my eyebrows. I'm using, I think it's a number 12 brush, I can't remember the name, I'll link it below. Which has got a spoolie on one end and a brush on the other end. And if you haven't seen my brow routine, which is in the info bar below, this is what I always tend to do with my eyebrows nowadays. I outline them along the top and the bottom, then I fill them in, and then I brush them through, which I may have forgotten to do in this video but that's what I generally tend to do anyway as I decided to go all out from start to finish with my makeup in this video I thought I'd throw in my eyebrows while I was at it and now to tidy up my eyebrows I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in the shade number two and I'm using a MAC 194 I think it is concealer brush it's like a limited edition brush that came in some Christmas thing and I am underlining and overlining my eyebrows tidying them up covering up any baby hairs that might be there covering any dip brow that may have got onto my skin that escaped from my brows and then I'm using the same brush to very roughly kind of blend it into my foundation this is just to make it easier in the long run because I swear it takes long doing your eyebrows I swear doing my eyebrows takes the longest out of any part of my makeup now I'm using my same foundation brush just to blend it in to the foundation more seamlessly and then I'm using that was really weird my my little finger that was like an Austin Powers one little finger just to um, blend in all the concealer underneath my brows and then I'm using the top shape tape concealer in the shade medium and I'm using this to conceal my dark circles as well as highlight the high points of my face I go in quite generously with this and then I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend it all out And to set the concealer, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Instamark Light Filtering Something Contour Powder. I'm using the banana shade, any banana shade will do. To set the concealer, and I'm using a Real Techniques Contour Brush. Then I'm using my NYX HD Powder in the shade Banana, as I always do, to set the concealer that I placed around my eyebrows, as well as to set the primer if it may still be a little bit damp or any concealer on my eyes as well. And then I am going to be using the Kat Von D metal matte palette which I haven't used in a while first we're going to be using the shade called bone and I am using it to neutralize my eyes to make them nice and soft using a Sigma uh, tapered blending brush 
and then the next shade I'm going to be using is Suede this is our transitional shade and I'm using a Morphe M330 brush to go backwards and forwards in the crease to build up that shade it's quite a soft shade so but it is a transitional shade so it's one that's just going to help with blending out the colors because this makeup look is very intense lots and lots of blending is required now I'm using the shade Oak and I'm going in to the crease with another Morphe brush I think it's the M502 brush and as you can see it's a very dark dark shade it's dragged slightly on my eye as well so I am going in probably about two times and I've done a lot of blending off camera as well so just bear in mind when you use very dark shades as this you need to do a lot of blending to make sure that the shades that blend into each other and so that it doesn't also look muddy and kind of patchy on the eyes now again back in with the shade suede that's a mouthful i'm using the same morphe m330 brush and i am blending above the oak shade again to smooth out that area to make sure that there are no harsh lines now we're using this matte dark gray uh, gray gray i'm using brown too much gray shade <laughs> and i'm going into the lower crease this shade is called stone and i'm using the same morphe m502 brush that i used to apply oak this is a very dark gray shade and again lots and lots of blending is required so please take your time when doing a look like this same morphe m330 brush again just to blend above i don't think i put any extra shadow on that brush no i didn't this is just to help the shades merge into each other so that it looks nice and grungy and then back in with that same other morphe brush but with no extra product to blend it out some more now we're using the shade called jet which is a matte black and i'm using a sonia kashuk brush I'm not sure what it's called i think it's number 11 i'll link it below i bought this in canada a long time ago and now i am just going into the inner tear duct area and dragging it in and making sure that i'm blending it out as i go along as well as doing it in the outer v area as well because you've got so many dark shades above transitioning this should blend really nicely into the brown shade above however go back in again with that same morphe m502 brush blending above so that the shades blend into each other and then do exactly the same thing on the other side Now for the center of the lid I'm using the shade Sm Smoky Storm which is one of the Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter Liquid Eyeshadows. I'm applying it all over to the center of the lid quite generously. Then I'm using the brush called The Shader by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and I am blending it out very gently. Just kind of smooshing it out if that's a good word to use. And then go back in with a little bit more so that we can obviously have loads of glitter and do it again. And then take a little bit of the black and then just tidy up the edges very gently take your time so that you're not flicking any glitter around all over your face which can happen with these once they dry so it's best to work with them while they're still quite wet you can manipulate them and move them around which is exactly what I'm doing right here and just spread it around so you've got an almost spotlight eye effect going on because that's what we're trying to achieve with this look and now I'm using the Lime Crime Opals um, uh, what is it? Highlight Opals palette and I'm using the shade pink and I'm going in over onto my brow bone and obviously this is a very full-on look so be quite generous I'm being generous and then again take that same Morphe brush just to blend out any harsh lines between the eyeshadow and the brow bone highlight and now I'm just setting my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow no not dip brow that's what I put already it's the tinted brow gel that's it and now I'm doing my liquid eyeliner with the NYC the liquid eyeliner I've heard this is being discontinued in America like oh my god what I'm gonna have to stock up on these the mascara I'm using Maybelline's push-up angel and well that's my mascara that I'm using and I'm using the LA page trends amethyst style uh, eyelashes these are like a more affordable version of the beauty lashes their eyelashes are excellent I've got loads and loads of wear out of these and then I'm going to be using on the lower lash line the shade Jet again and I'm using a MAC 212 brush to punch it into the lower lash line like an eyeliner 
uh, because we really want to smoke this out and then I am going to be using the shade Stone again to blend it out with a Pro Pencil Blender Brush by Royal and Langnickel. This is a really fluffy pencil brush which is good to use to do a lot of blending on the lower lash line because we want this really smoked out. I don't want there to be an obvious black line there so that's why I'm using the dark grey to really blend it out so that it looks nice. Then I'm using the Rimmel Scandalized Coral Gargel in the shade of black to line the inner waterline of my eyes. Then I'm using the shade Tinsel and I'm applying it to my tear duct with a MAC pencil brush. And this is just to finish off the eyes now. And then I'm using Push Up Angel by Maybelline to do my lower lashes. And then that is it, your eyes should now be done. Now for the face, I'm using the Sleek Cream Contour Kit in Medium, I'm using the darkest shade, and I am chiseling out my face and giving it some dimension. I'm using the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, the Queenie brush, which is a really good brush to use for cream contour. So first, I'm just mapping everything out on my face before I start to blend it all out. Also from Sleek, I'm using the Fame Face Form Palette in the shade Fair. Look, I'm very excited that I'm finally using a cleaner brush. And I'm using the contour shade just to very lightly set the areas where you saw me applying the cream contour. Why have I always got my earrings on when I do this? I suppose it's just for the fun of the video. Anyway, I'm cutting the contour now with a Morphe M459 brush using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is just to tidy everything up. Uh, make sure that it looks nice and sharp and tidy in case your contour has gone into areas of your face where you don't want it to go because it won't look so flattering. And then I'm using the Real Techniques contour brush just to blend it all out. Because I've got cream contour on as well, I'm blending it a lot more with the brush than I normally would. Then I'm using the shade Montage from Tarte Cosmetics. And I'm using an elf complexion brush to apply this to the backs of my cheeks as I always do because I have a round face so I never apply it to the apples. Then I'm using the shade gold from the same Lime Crime palette. I really love this palette. Look at that highlight. Lovely. And I'm using a Morphe fan brush to apply it to my cheekbones as well as a little bit on my nose. I've gone a little bit up the bridge of my nose as well which I normally don't do but you know this is full on glam so why not? And then also I apply it to your cupid's bow. This makes your lips look a lot fuller when you apply um, lipstick. And then I'm just using the same NYX HD powder just to tidy up my face so that it looks nice and neat in case any blusher, bronzer, anything like that has gone a little bit too far down my face. And I'm using the same complexion brush but with no extra product just to blend between the highlight and the blush. Now I'm using the Huda Beauty a metallic liquid lipstick in the shade Showgirl. I absolutely love this shade. I love this metallic liquid lipstick. I'm very impressed with this. And then your look should be complete. Party time, everybody. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all soon. Bye!